Hey YouTube, today we're going to be learning how to play All Night by Brothers Osborne. Shout out to Mike for making this request today. And I'm going to keep making these video lesson requests for you guys. So Johnny Rocco, I got the request for Eddie Shaver, working on it now. That guy's a really good player, so be patient with me. He's kind of challenging, but we'll get to it. And uh, speaking of good guitar playing, uh, John Osborne on this one does some really neat stuff. And uh, you might think this song's in some kind of a crazy tuning because he gets a really low sound at the beginning. Uh, so I'll talk about the tuning right now. If you don't want to listen to this, go ahead and skip forward. I'll put a timestamp right here or just like a text to show you what time to jump to in the video so you can start learning the guitar. But uh, when I first started transposing this one, I, I thought it was in like a drop B tuning and a couple other guys on YouTube. Uh, I watched their videos and they indicated that it was like uh, a drop B um, and I started transposing the song in drop B, but I watched John Osborne playing the song live and the transposing that I had done, my, my fingers weren't matching what he's playing on his guitar. So I was like, what the heck's going on? How's he doing this if it's really in a drop B? Uh, so anyway, I, I got dinner with my parents one night and my dad and I started talking about guitars and he's a really good guitar player as well. And uh, I said, well, I, I'm trying to figure out the song. Um, but the fingering's not lining up. Like, I'm not playing it like like the, the guy Osborne's playing it. And my dad just goes like, well, it might be a baritone guitar. And I was like, oh, bingo. Light went off, went home, tuned the whole guitar down five steps or half steps, and bam, that was it. Hands all lined up. It was perfect, just like John had it. And the only problem was the guitar strings are all floppy, so you can't really play it that well. So... Uh, I started looking at baritone guitars and I was like, oh man, I'm going to spend like eight or 900 bucks. That's not worth it just to learn one song. But I found a tool. If you guys don't want to spend a bunch of money on a guitar either, there's this great pedal by Digitech called The Drop. Went out, found it this weekend, bought it so we could learn the song. And it's real neat. You just turn the little dial here and it, it tunes you half steps down. And then it's got an octave and a dry setting as well. Um, and there's a switch here too where you can do a momentary if you want to hit the switch it'll light up only when you step on it or if you want to use it like a standard drop uh, stomp box you just flip it to off and then you can turn it on and off and it'll stay on and off so cool cool solution for getting a baritone or any other kind of half step uh, variants of a standard tuning <sighs> you're tired of listening to me talk Let's go play some guitar. The tuning for the baritone guitar. This is uh, going to be a little bit different. It's still a standard tuning, but instead of being in an E tuning, we're in a B tuning. So now with the drop pedal activated here, we've got a B, an E, A, D, F sharp, and another B. Now it might be a little confusing if I use the baritone guitar string names, so I'm still going to use the E standard string names to make it easier for you to hear it. So this is just, I'm going to call it E, A, D, G, uh, B, and another E, uh, just to make it easy. So main riff to the song sounds like this. And you're going to play that twice. To play that, it's going to be an open E, third fret, 2nd fret A string, 5th fret A string, 2nd fret D string, 5th fret D string. Then to turn it around, you're going to hit the 3rd fret of your low E, give it a half bend. Then play the open E, 3rd fret of your E string, 2nd fret A string, 4th fret A string. Bend the 3rd fret of your E string. Uh, e string again, half bend, and then open. So all together, two, 
three, four. Twice. And then you're going to hit the high E and the B string at the very end of this lick. So all together, a little bit faster, it sounds like this. Twice. Okay, let's play that all together one more time, a little bit faster. Two, three, four. And then we're into the verse of the song, and all he's going to do is he's going to play his low E, his uh, seventh fret A string, which is also an E, and then he's going to play the ninth fret of the D string here. And he's just going to play this muted with his palm, and uh, you're going to repeat this for the whole verse here. And then when you get to the chorus, you're going to change. You're just going to play an A chord down here, which in the baritone tuning is actually an E chord. Then go back to your B chord or the E chord in standard tuning. Back down to your A. And the last time, you're going to play the power chord on the 5th fret of your A string. So to do that, it's just your 5th fret A, 7th fret D, 7th fret G. And then you slide that whole shape up 2 frets. 7th fret A, 9th fret D, 9th fret G. Okay? So those are the chords that you use in the verses and the choruses. Uh, so let's jump to the guitar solo. Now, the guitar solo, at the end of the chorus, they're going to hit that uh, D to E strum here. And they're going to sing. So I believe the words are, I got the fuse if you got the light. I got the all if y'all got the night. All night. So those two chords, it's just a G power chord to an A power chord. And that's what the band plays. And the guitar solo starts right there. And this is a really cool technique. It's uh, He's playing a bunch of ghost notes with his pick. And then he's using his finger here to play the note that he's going to play. So this is a technique first that I'm going to demonstrate. And then I'll show you how he gets the melody behind these ghost notes. So what you want to do is just strum the, the, the strings here, but leave your finger lightly on the strings. See how you're not getting any musical note out of that? It's just a muted sound. And you, you see that a lot in country music, this, this mute or ghost note, and it's it's part of the chicken picking thing. Um, and you want to play this note with your finger. So you're going to go one, two, three, pluck, one, two, three, pluck, one, two, three, pluck, pluck, one, two, three, pluck. Right? So let's look at that and see how he's playing this. So he's going to mute the D string, the G string, and the B string. And then he's going to pluck the 10th fret of his B string. Now he's going to drop down, do the same thing, mute these three strings, D, G, and B. And then he's going to pluck the 8th fret of the B string. And he's going to bring it down again three ghost notes, pick the 7th fret of the B string, 
Drop it down one more time. Actually, you're going to go two more times. Three ghost notes. Pluck the fifth fret of your B string. Three ghost notes. And then the third fret of the B string. That's the first lick. And if it helps, I like to leave my middle finger on the string that I'm going to pluck and I'll just play these three notes. And that, just practicing that technique is gonna help you get this nice and smooth. So let's play it nice and slow. Two, three, four, One more time, two, three, four. One more time, two, three, four. And then the next lick to kind of end that and resolve it, you're gonna slide up on your D string to the fifth fret. Then you're gonna play the fourth fret on your G string. Go back to the fifth fret D string and then the seventh fret on your A string. So that lick sounds like this. One more time just for demonstration. So let's play that together. Nice and slow. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, Three, four. All right, so let's demonstrate the solo for you real quick. Then we'll break it down and we'll show you each note in there. Sounds like this. So that's the fast section. So to play that, you're going to slide up on your E string to the seventh fret. You're going to play the sixth fret and then you're gonna play the fifth fret. So it looks like this. Okay, so that's just seven, six, five, high E string. Then the eighth fret on your B string, fifth fret B string, open B, third fret B, fifth fret B. Okay. Let's play those nine notes together. Ready? Two, three, four. Again, two, three, four. One more time, two, three, four. The next part he rolls right into the next note you play the third fret of your high string slide up from your third fret to the fourth fret on the high string play the fifth fret of your B string third fret B string open B third fret of your G string slide it down to the second fret play the open G Second fret of your D string, open D string, second fret A string, second fret, or sorry, first fret A string, open A. And then he's going to bend the third fret on the low E, and then hit the A chord. So that part of the solo looks like this. Let's play that together. Two, three, four. Two, three, four.
two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. All right, let's play this whole fast section here, sliding up to the seventh fret of your E string, and we'll play straight through to this next lick that we just learned. Okay? Two, three, four. One more time. Two, three, four. Now that's pretty fast. Uh, and on the record, he plays it even faster. So if the demonstration video or the practice track is a little too fast for you, there's always that little gear icon in the bottom right corner. You can click that. There's a little spot there for play speed. You can slow it down to 0.75 or 0.5 and take it at a pace that's a little bit better for you. And just loop the video. Keep backing it up and playing it over again because that's, that's how I transpose this stuff. Uh, the last section of the solo, uh, the second half of the solo, uh, he plays that A chord. And then they got this kind of funk thing that they do. So that's just a open E, third fret of the E, open A, seventh fret E string, fifth fret A string, seventh fret A string, fifth fret D string, seventh fret A string. So nice and slow. Two, three, four. And he's palm muting the entire time. Let's play it again. Two, three, four. One more time. Two, three, four. All right. The last piece of the solo. Uh, he's going to do a bend on the 10th fret of the B string. So bend up and then mute it at the top. And you're going to play the 10th fret again, 8th fret of the B string, 9th fret of the G string, 7th fret of the G string. And you're going to repeat that four times. And on the last time, you're going to bend the B string again at the 10th fret up a whole step. And then you're going to play the 10th fret of the high E string. So all together, real slow, four times with that lick, and then the bend at the end with the high E 10th fret. Okay, two, three, four. One more time. Two, three, four. One more time. Two, three, four. All right, and that's the whole solo. Let's take it from the top. Uh, I'm going to set my metronome here just so I can uh, keep the time. Um, if you guys have a metronome, it's a really great tool. Uh, I love playing with this thing. Uh, it's just a, what, I, what is this thing, a Whitner wind-up. And you know, it doesn't need a battery, which I think is freaking awesome. All right, let's play. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay. 
Okay, good. That was set at uh, 104 beats per minute. The song is at about like 120, maybe 123. So it's it's a good pace to practice at, just that nice slow speed. Okay, and then you hear this, uh, there's a Fender Rhodes or some kind of keyboard sound in the background, which I, I thought was kind of a cool feature of the song. Uh, and I figured it out just for kicks. Uh, so that sounds like this. You can throw a little hammer on in there too. And you hear that behind the verses. Uh, it's the last verse, and I think you hear it right at the end of the second verse. I have to go back and listen to it. Uh, but to play that, all you do is you lay your third finger over the 12th fret of the G, B, and E string. And then you drop down to the 11th fret, 10th fret, 10th fret. So that's 11th fret G string, 10th fret B string, 10th fret E string. And then you play that again, and you go to the next chord. And that is a 9th fret on your G string, 10th fret on the D string, 9th fret again on the E string. Hey, thanks for watching this video today. I hope you learned something. If you did like it, please make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. It helps me continue to make more video lessons for you. Also, don't forget to pop over to thesmellytelly.com. There's more guitar lessons for you there. We'll see you next time. Take care.